I went more into the soul finding process, something I needed to do for my private life. So I decided to do it in 2015. I had some ceremonies and uh, I understood some things, some new things that are kind of essential for my life. Uh, since my journey of the two years took off, I also learned some new things and some different kind of approaches in music production as well. So I feel that I've made my skill more complete in this manner. Just a great experience in all. And I'm happy that I spent these two years like that. So I'm preparing three albums. Uh, I've been working on it for some two and a half years, maybe, or something like that. Lictum album, like progressive psychedelic stuff. Nertum album, which is like 138, 140, two BPM range. I've been doing also uh, ambient music. I mean, it's not so psychedelic as you would maybe expect. It's something that is very dear to me and I've been putting all my love and my thoughts into the music process, in the production. So three albums are coming for 2017, over 30 tracks, I guess. And uh, I'm very happy to finally be able to show you this year. I think it comes from the studio itself. Like, it's all about consistency and working hard to achieve that. If it's a great quality and whatever quantity for you. That's all about just sitting in this chair, making it very hot and really like to go more in depth into the music production. Like, this is my source of inspiration, like to go very deep into music and explore new paths and uh, new patterns, like how you can approach to music production itself. It can be mathematical, it can be visionary, it can be whatever it can be, you know, it's just something that you feel inside and just work hard to get that idea out. Even though sometimes if you don't have an idea of how to make a track or this kind of atmosphere, that kind of melody, you don't need to be focused on that at all. Like, you just need to sit down and work. And eventually, as you work and put your mind and your soul into it, it will become nice to someone's ears. And uh, so, basically, it's like you are the inspiration itself. You are the source, you are the life, you are sacred. That's, that's my inspiration. I don't know about this year actually. I haven't followed that much. I have uh, I have to follow my own work in order to be there on the scene. So I don't really put much thoughts to it. But on the other hand, I know what happened in 2016 and how I feel that our quantity in artists in the scene is uh, much bigger than before. And I really encourage more people to do it because music is amazing and. It gives us the pleasure here, here, inside. So, I don't know, I've, I haven't been really that quite satisfied with the uh, whole scene in general for the past year or two, maybe even three, I don't know. But uh, for sure, there are many artists that are doing this for pocket, 
not for love, something I don't personally appreciate, but I wish all music was from the heart, making it for the heart of other people and having the thought of sharing compassion with sound and vibration and thinking of another human being that music is a vibration that stimulates us. So I'd rather think of a heart side of the you know music production than pocket side because if you do heart side pocket money and all this stuff this will all come eventually because people recognize love and love is infinite it's beautiful it's big i apologize to everybody for waiting for so long on my album human there are a couple of reasons for that and i hope by this occasion I can give you the proper explanation why it took so long as it did. As I said before, I went to soul finding. I needed to meet myself inside to know what is a human being, like just a little bit more than I used to. What I was born with my life and all that uh, schools and uh, society has taught us, I wasn't quite really satisfied because I felt more physical than what's within. So I had to go really like search for my soul inside and what it provides for this physical form. But also I had to uh, reconstruct my, like basically every single track that I started at this time. I took a whole new process of reconstructing everything, every single bit of it. That means like basically every element in the track. And uh, now it's becoming like more complete. Each day I'm here in the studio. I feel like uh, there is a much bigger and better progress with it, you know, and I'm really, really feeling amazing about it. And I've been doing, you know, the other albums, it's not just one. So I hope just that people will consider it like that actually somebody took a bit more time and they did it for love, for the people, for humans. Like if they can resonate with some of the sounds inside, well, that's the best feeling I can have coming from everybody. I use Eiffel Studio. I don't think that there is a big difference in general about um, these interfaces, you know, like uh, Cubase, Fruity Loops, Ableton, Reason, and uh, all the other. They're all having the same purpose. So it doesn't really matter what you use. It's about how you use. And if you're efficient on it, that's everything that matters. Well, since I'm a gringo outsider, I see Brazilian market very broad, like very huge now. I'm seeing the biggest events in the world are like held in Brazil. One of the best places I've been in all the planet. I mean, there is still a lot to explore and I'm really looking forward to that. But Brazil so far really made a big impression on me and uh, people are super amazing. And I met one of the best peoples ever in my life there so open-minded, so clear-headed, so not negative or anything. I really found a true peace on the market also. There is commercial parties, there's very psychedelic parties, there are very nice promoters that are doing this for love and to unite people. So, I don't know, I feel that Brazilian market is definitely in the top three. So advice for the new producers is make music from the heart, don't make it for the pocket. If you make it for the pocket, your music will last for one or two months and then it's out of the charts and it's gonna be forgotten pretty soon. If you try to make some more eternal music, like very big span of years that is gonna last like for a long time, that's where people recognize and this is where you get your true fans not trend it's soul music coming from the soul so my advice is to you make music from the heart don't make it for the pocket it's not worth it really i'm really hoping that my fans are enjoying the content i'm producing um, 
It's been quite a ride now for me. Like uh, I'm closing into 16 years of production and I'm 27 years old. That's like, I was 11 since I started. So I want to tell you that I'm doing this for love and nothing else. To all my fans, I only thank you for all of your support and having the opportunity to be interacting with so many of you guys is, wow. I'm just forever grateful and thank you. <laughs>